All right, here we go with another insane detail of this disgusting Toyota Tundra. This thing is filled with dirt, grease and grime all over the seats. I even had to use brake cleaner on some of the floor mats because they were so caked with oil. That was the only thing that I could use physically to break them down. As bad as that sounds, sometimes you have to take extreme measures. So let's go ahead, tear this thing apart and get started. Now I'm not gonna lie, sometimes with these details because of how much work I have ahead of me, I procrastinate. I usually get sucked into playing Raid Shadow Legends, which is honestly not a bad way to spend your time, especially considering how good the graphics are. It's easy to play, it's fast paced, it's one of the coolest RPG games I've ever played, especially for your phone and you can play it anywhere. Probably one of my favorite things about it is the strategy involved with making sure you're upgrading all of your weapons, all of your different you know, spells and different things that you can do in the game for each character. All the different champions, which there's an absolute ton of, they're always coming out with new upgrades and new improvements to the characters, and the worlds are always constantly changing. Now, it's crazy that I've actually been playing Raid for over two years, and it's celebrating its four-year anniversary, and Raid continues to get bigger and better with one of its most requested features, which is Live Arena Peer vs. Peer, PvP. Raid's letting you duke it out against other players live, picking and banning champions before dueling to determine the ultimate warrior. It's not just prestige you're fighting for, Live Arena is bringing some awesome rewards too, which is really cool. I'm talking like new artifacts, fragments for a legendary void champion, and special Live Arena chests that unlock powerful new bonuses of the Great Hall. And if that's not enough, there's more new champions, Season 8 of the Forge Pass, and Easter themed events alongside a bunch of other things coming soon. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to raid every single month, if you haven't started playing yet, what are you waiting for? Truly, go ahead and if you're a new player, use the link in my description box below or the QR code on screen to get a free starter pack. Definitely check out Raid Shadow Legends and definitely let's get back to the detail. Pretty much all of you that are watching this always wonder, how does your car ever get to this state? This is a contractor company, they do construction. This is one of the work vehicles that their employees use. So it just, it gets beat on, it gets trashed and it gets nasty. And if you're just an employee, you're not really worried about the vehicle itself sometimes. And I'm guessing that's exactly what happened here. But all I gotta say is at the end of the video, Make sure you stick around to see the before and after because that's where the true magic happens. You know, the process that you guys watch, this is what I use to clean all of these cars. You guys can do it too. It's really not that hard. It just takes a lot of time and effort. But at the end of the video, when you see the transformation, that's where you kind of get that most rewarding thing and the most just unbelievable satisfaction of seeing how dirty it was and where it ended up. When it comes to cleaning any of the fabric or the seats or the carpet inside these vehicles, I always use a mixture of OxyClean along with BioBreak, which is a product that I have linked down below if you wanna check out. Spray it on the seats, using FoxClean deal, uh, drill brushes to agitate the fabric itself, loosen up that dirt and grime, so that way my hot water extractor can suck up all that dirt and make these seats look as good as they look here. Pretty much brand new, minus just the mileage wear and tear.
Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never seen an extractor dump like this, yeah, this is the dirty water that comes out of these things from extracting just a few of the floor mats. Now this driver side floor mat in particular was the one that I had to use quite a bit of brake cleaner on in between my different extraction phases just because of how much of the oil and dirt that was embedded in there it needed to be broken down and there's only so much you can do with just an extractor in my typical solution so sometimes you have to break out the big guns and something a little bit more intense not recommended on a good floor mat or your carpet or seats but for a floor mat like this it's already worn down it's not going to get replaced and you just want to do a decent job of getting as much of that oil and grease removed from it as possible Now for grease and grime on some of the interior components, I could have used a steam cleaner on the seats and stuff too, but sometimes that takes longer than it needs to. But for interior dash components or plastic components, steam does a great job, especially for air vents because you're injecting that steam through the air vents, you're kind of blowing it through and it helps with disinfecting and removing any odors as well.
So to tackle these nasty cars, besides my steam cleaner, my heavy equipment, the towels, the sprays, the brushes are all my own personal products that I've developed over the years. And it's something that you can pick up as well. And it's good for extreme and just daily use on simple cleaning. It works just the same and just as well. So check out foxclean.com. I have it linked down below for you guys to check out. So you can pick up the exact same products I use to transform these vehicles. They will transform your car as well. And I guarantee they'll be the best products that you've ever tried. Now for the rear seat part, like this whole bench area, typically you can never get this clean unless you pull out the seat completely because they really don't fold down flat on most pickup trucks. And the same goes for the center console and the seats. It just allows me as a detailer for these extreme vehicles to have better access, better mobility inside the car or truck, and just that ability to make sure I hit every single component getting these things completely clean. So it's not something that you have to do in your details. Um, it is something that personally I do on every used car I buy but you don't have to. You can usually get to most of those components unless you have a crazy spill, then it kind of constitutes maybe going that extra mile.
Now for all of you that have made it to the end of this video, I just wanna say thank you because by you watching the video, thumbs in it up, sharing it with a friend, just engaging with this content and watching it, it's what makes this channel possible for every YouTube creator out there. It's just you as a viewer is what makes these videos be even possible for that matter because the 10 hours that I put into this video from detailing to editing to uploading and then it doesn't include the commenting and the thumbnails and everything else that go into these videos you watching it is what makes that time worthwhile because a lot of the times YouTube will fluctuate go up and down in terms of who they suggest the videos to even if you make a video that's incredible it doesn't matter sometimes and by you watching the end of this video and sticking around it's what it, it just it means so much to me is what I'm trying to say so thank you so much for watching these videos supporting this channel supporting all the channels that you watch and you'll subscribe to thank you for being on YouTube and I will see you guys in the next detail